Hi guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk you quickly through our RO plant on board. Uh, RO plant's the abbreviation for reverse osmosis and it's basically a process of turning salt water from the sea into fresh water. Uh, I apologise in advance for the noise in the background, that's the anti human pumps running on the ship. I'm afraid it needs to run, so nothing I can do about that. Uh, first of all then, let me talk you through the plant itself. I'll turn the camera around. Let's go. Right, the first filter I'm going to tackle then is the sand and gun filter. Uh, this we'll open up about once a year and change the sand and garnet. But for a quick and more effective clean, we can just backwash the filter itself. So I'm just going to change these two valves over. Here's one and the second one. And what that'll do now is essentially put the water in through the outlet and discharge through the inlet and then it'll be overboarded. Uh, we'll run that for about 15 minutes and then come back and flush the filter. So I'll come over here, we'll put the booster pump in on and there we are, the filter is now being back flushed. Okay, right so it's been about 15 minutes now back flushing the filter. So I'm just going to turn the pump off. Yeah. I forgot to mention earlier as well guys that the pump we have has a variable frequency driver. It's on top there and to do the back flush you know, I just slow it down a little bit. But now we can restore these two valves as they were. And then I'm going to open this rinse diversion valve. And we're going to run it about 30 minutes, again with the rinse diversion valve open. So if there's any dirt left in, it'll just go straight overboard. Uh, if you're wondering where I'm getting these valves from, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, then that just comes out the manual. And it's basically a case of following that. Uh, other Arbor Road plants might have different length of time recommended in the manual, so make sure you read through that first. But there we are then, that valve's open, back to normal. And we can restart the pump, half an hour. So there we are, being about 30 minutes rinsing now, so I'm just going to turn the pump off. I'll slow down and then return this valve back to the position. So it's ready to start. There we go. So next up, I'm going to do the coarse filter on the pump. Uh, do this, need to isolate the pump in that outlet valve. So here's the outlet, quarter inch, uh, quarter turn ball valve there we are. and then we have a vent on top just to make sure the valves are holding tight before we lift the lid so a bit of pressure in the system and there we are it's holding tight and whilst I'm doing this I'm gonna drain the filter housings for here so in order to do this again safely I'm gonna shut the overboard valve and then here we have two valves and what this is going to do is drain the water into the bilge and that's that set up ready to drain last thing to do on here is to just open these vent valves on top help it drain a little bit faster so that's that done whilst they're draining i'm going to clean the filter the coarse filter over here Okay, so to open this filter up, got four M12 bolts. Just going to crack them, them off. And these then have to be tightened up ridiculously tight. There's an O ring underneath, and as long as that's sealing, then really that's tight enough. So that's them cracked off. Get these out by hand now. Finally lift the lid off. So 
There's the O-ring you can see, and I'm just going to lift the filter housing out, let the water drain back into the housing, and I'll hold this up to the camera. I don't know if you can see in there. Pretty hard. But I've got a little bit of plastic in there. Looks like a tank or something. Uh, I'm going to take this, wash it out, refit it. So I'll be back in there. So I'll back, clean the filter. Uh, that's ready to go back in. As suspected, there's a little bit of plastic inside. Uh, something from a cleaning supplier. And also a seashell. But that just goes to show sort of the problem we have with plastic in the ocean. Uh, these filters are cleaned every 200 hours and nearly every time there's a bit of plastic in there. So there's a direction for this to go in. So we need the inlet to come through this hole. So put that in. Need to make sure it's lost in the correct position. Double check this over, it's okay. Sat in the roof properly. It all looks fine. And then we can leave this. So always with bolts like to start them off by hand and get them down as far as possible just to make sure they're not cross threaded or anything. And as I'm sure you already know, tighten them in a crosswise direction, so we nip that. and back to this one Just them down by hand and finally let's check them all there we are. so I'll close that valve for now and I'm just going to open the inlet valve so I can bleed off from the filter. So that's that open. You can see that there's no leaks coming from around here, so that O-ring's holding well. I'm just going to crack this valve. It'll come and then find me water. And I can close it again. And I'm not going to pull any air into my pump. So next on, move around, go to the 5 and 20 micron filters. Right, so you may have noticed I've kept this valve closed, that's the discharge of the booster pump and that's just because I'm going to open up these filters here now, so to keep it isolated. Uh, go around the side here, I've already closed the drain valve, set that back to normal and if you're curious where that drains to is the bilge, I'll just show you inside here quickly. So you have a snap ring inside there that we pull out and then we can basically just lift the lid out. Uh, these vents are still open, you can see there's no water coming out of them. So, being under the sea line, if there was uh, a valve not holding, you would be getting water coming out of that. So, it'd probably be easy for me to set the camera, but I'll just show you this quickly. On one, just so you can see it. So, that's that ring out, and then I'm ready to. That just sits in a groove inside here. I'm ready to pull the lid off, but I'll set the camera up first and then get to work on that.
well, that's the new filters back in. Uh, as you can see, the snap ring is down all the way around. Uh, a good tip here is to make sure when you insert the snap ring, you give it, put it in somewhere with plenty of access to pull away. If you had it with the snap ring ended up over here, then it can get pretty difficult to try and pull out. But last thing to do now is to vent these off, get rid of all the air inside. So let's do that. I'm going to open the discharge valve here. Make things a bit faster. Open the discharge valve for the future button. So now we've got air. It's going to be coming out from both of these hoses. Yeah, you can feel it. So I'll just cleft this in the bucket. So here, all the ones with the yellow dots on top, just the yellow on top, so that's all okay. Finding the booster pump, discharge is open, inlet is open, no leaks, so we are ready to start. Okay, so start procedure, everything will be automatic, so we've got auto, auto, so the system is stopped at the moment. Uh, once we start up, there's a salinity probe down here that will measure the uh, PPM of the water being discharged through the membrane. That will come up here to a product diversion valve, and if the PPM is too high, it will send it overboard, and likewise for the first I think it's about a minute of production, it will send everything overboard until the level stabilises and it knows for death note we're producing clean, unsaline water. Uh, flow meter here to watch out for as well for our production. So let's go ahead and start. So, system operation, start. Check the pressures, 69 psi there. These are not brand new filters, they're washed filters. So with a brand new set of filters, we'll be looking to get a little bit higher pressure, but that's plenty high enough. I'll just wait for the HP pump to start as well. And there we go. And you can see our flow meter here then. Once we start to see some fresh water, that flow to the sitter. Yeah, that's going to stay dry right there now. So at the moment we're producing about 20 litres per minute. Final thing to do is just get the dosing pump on. And what this will do is just help keep the RO membrane in a good condition. So slide this door over. Run. It's pretty hard to see, but that's turning there, so that's going to be facing the RO membrane at the same time. Close that door again. So there we are, guys. After media filter backwash, coarse filter chain, uh, clean, and the 20 and 5 micron filters uh, basically clean, or replace with clean ones. Uh, gone through the start of the procedure. If there's anything I've missed out, most likely there is. If you want to know how it works more in depth. Let me know in the comments below, or if you've got ideas for other videos you'd like me to make, just send me a message. And to like and subscribe, thank you.